2021. Here we go, see you later. Penine Way, here we go. Come out to the bottom of uh, Jacob's Ladder here. I've had to stop to rearrange my, rearrange my bag because uh, it was bouncing up and down as I was warrant running stream here. So I'm gonna get my head wet before we go up there. I'm on and truly walking. I've had to stop a couple of times to rearrange my bag. Uh, the stuff in the back, my jacket, raincoat and stuff, was stopping it from hanging off my shoulders and it was all bouncing constantly. We've got a trig pillar up here, I'm gonna to touch that. There we go, that'll do, that'll do. 7K in 106. Uh, my plan speed for this race is 7k an hour, but with the climb, that's not a bad start at all. Because it's a very, a very vertical hour. Oh, I'm near the back, by the way. Some bloody good runners in this race. I think I'm chasing a guy for five minutes. Finally catch him, he stopped to talk to mates. <laughs> Holly Victory. We've got some water here, haven't we? Not bad, eh? Not a bad view. Progress so far is okay. I've just been a bit in my own head, to be honest. I was kind of angry at the beginning with all my gear being really new to me. It's just really uncomfortable and I haven't quite got the hang of it. But I guess by the end of today I will. I think any other day I'd be flying down this thing. Uh, I know what's up ahead, so just taking it nice and easy down here. It's actually uh, gnarlier than I, I remember. Although the shoes I've got on the Nike Trail 2s, they're not the most reactive shoes, they're pretty heavy going. So take it nice and easy down here, nice and easy. Basically now a little, little jog to the road. Two hours 17, sorry, approaching Snake Pass. It's gone very quickly, I must say. We've done about 15 kilometers. That's 55 to go. I'm quite happy about that, or 56 to go. Anyway, I've got a checkpoint coming up here. I'm hoping there's water so I can drink all my water I've got and refill, because it's very hot. It's very hot. We just hit 20K in three hours. So I'm now one kilometer behind the 7K an hour, uh, the 7K an hour thingy that I basically invented myself. And I think I'm thinking now that I'm gonna dial that right back to 6K per hour as a target because I'm just, I can't get into it today. I'm trying hard to, I'm trying hard to enjoy myself, I'm trying too hard to enjoy myself and I'm struggling to enjoy myself. It's not very me. So I think I've just become a victim of my own optimism and uh, it's time to just chill out and enjoy it. But I can't get my, I'm angry and I can't not be angry and it's annoying me. So I need to be happy, I need to be happy. Look, I've just walked off the path, look at that. Anyway, yeah, I just, I can't get my head into it today. Really annoying me uh, and that's not why I'm here. So it's stupid, stupid mind thoughts. I don't know why, but this race has got me. Um, had me anxious for his kit check, I'd be anxious for having the right kit and stuff. It's got me annoyed at all the kit I've got, weighing me down. Um, that's not the point. That's not the point of going out and having a nice day. So I'm gonna have to alter my expectation of my ability and just enjoy what I'm fucking doing, because what's the fucking point? What's the point in being out here if you're not having a, having a good time? Look at this. What a spoiled brat I am. What a spoiled sod I am for not enjoying this. Next shot of me will be me having a laugh, me having a nice time. But yeah, I don't want to go home. I don't want to stop. 
I don't want out. I just want my head to flip. It's, I just want my head to flip on its head, basically. And for me to start enjoying myself. I've waited too long for races to come back. For me to come out and be a brat. Brains, eh? Brains. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to stop quickly. That's uh, Manchester. Manchester right in front of us. We've got a cheeky descent coming up now. You see down there on that line? I remember this from, um, from Trigger, which takes place on the same day as the first day of the Spine race. So we start in Marsden and run to Edel and uh, the Spine race people come towards us. Can I have a ride please? Can I have a ride please? No? Fine. Just been overtaken for the sake of that horse shot. Never mind. <laughs> oh, a refreshing, refreshing forest. This is lovely. Just had a water station as well, limited to 500 mil. Feeling a bit better now. I figured like, I've got a new tactic. My new tactic really is to, um, well, I know you just caught me running there, but like, I'm really gonna try and take it easy before 6 p.m. Because I know that it's sweltering hot. It's really hot. And I think what happens is if I take my time during the day, I'll have more juice for the night. Yeah, I'm actually pushing up now, slowly, which is quite nice. Uh, been more relaxed and just took my time a bit more. I just, I'm trying to eat all my food really. So I've only got a few bits left for the last sort of four hours or so, trying to balance it out. And my pack's getting lighter, which is lovely. My shoulder's really sore because I ain't done no training for this shit. I haven't done any training for this kind of thing really, especially not with a bag. Um, yeah man, having a nice time. Almost at the top of Black Hill now. Lovely view. I'm in a wee bonk, but I mean it's Black Hill, so fine, it's allowed. Managed to refill some water in a stream. No filter or anything, just taking a risk. I can't even extend my arm. Ah, tricky time. Ah. Got it. Got the trick. Coming up to a road there. Now, the sun's gone in, so it's lovely and pinky dusky. Right now, it's only five o'clock. Surprise, it feels a lot later. It feels about seven or eight. About halfway. So plenty, plenty of time. Plenty of time to take my time. I'd do with some more water if that'd be nice. That'd be a very nice, thank you. Another water stop. Finally got my Kendall mint cake out. And boom! My mouth feels fresh. I feel like I've brushed my teeth, which is nice. It just goes constantly. So if, I, if there's anything to learn from ultra running, for me, it's just to learn to stop faffing. But I've got no idea how to not when everything's in my fucking bag. Everything's at the, no, nothing's ever in the right place. I'll need something, you know. Everything catches, everything catches. Maybe it is a expensive game. Maybe I do need the expensive gear that doesn't catch and doesn't fly everywhere or whatever. But like, yeah, I pretty much rendered that, uh, that last video void because uh, I'm so heavy. I was looking around earlier, definitely, definitely the heaviest looking backpack on the spine sprint. The most, the biggest volume. But you know, stuck to my ground by uh, using what I already had, I guess. The waddle is starting. The waddle is starting. 39k in. So that's about 29 to go or something. 39. I don't know. 
no. 32k to go, something like that. I think we're coming up to this reservoir. This reminds me of Trigger. Trigger, does it come past here? I don't know. We're close to Marsden anyway. It's a marathon. That's a marathon. 42k on Marsden Moor. Coming up to a road, I think. Another road. Road number three. Anyone behind me? Not far behind me at all. Um, yeah. So I'm quite happy it's less than 30k to go now. That feels like definitely like a broken its back. And it's cooling down now as well, which really helps. Lots of walking, a lot of walking, a bit of running, a bit of running, but mainly, mainly walking, mainly walking right now. Just opened my Kendall mint cake. Now that gave me a right sugar rush. I had a right little run for a bit. So I'll try and be careful with that. Not too much, but it's going to kill me if I neck that. This is nice, isn't it? Reservoir. Yeah, he's about to disappear over that hill. That guy. Um, that guy that just came past, well, that guy over there just came past me and he's, uh, he started too. So he's the first chap to, uh, to take me from the two o'clock start. So he's caught up two hours on me. He's got two hours on me. Well done him. He looked pretty lean, young, and I've been overtaken again because I stopped to faff. Oh yeah, maybe like filming on a GoPro doesn't help. Hi, hi. Really fucking tired, really tired. We've done eight hours. God, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. This is probably a very shaky video here we are in Lancashire I don't think we're in Lancashire for long and we'll be crossing back into Yorkshire very soon I think but you look nice Lancashire today you look nice Lancashire I'm absolutely pooped absolutely pooped but I'm taking a leaf out of these challenger runners and it's taking my time and enjoying myself because don't get to do this very often and uh, yeah like if running's not working today then fine it's it's all about enjoying being where you are I say that when it's two in the morning and dark but no I hope to um, I hope to pick up the pace a little bit once I cross the M62 when I feel I'll be closer to home but I just don't feel I've got it in me to to start running just yet there's the trig point and the uh, mast that's the trig point and the mast is over there and apparently there's a cafe there but I'm probably just going to go past it too tempting too tempting I'm going to sit down here and have a look at my feet because my left foot feels huge it feels big, it feels massive. Might be the end of my run today. Um, I might have to walk it in. I'm gonna walk it in though. I think we're about 20k short. Maybe a bit more, I'm not sure. Um, that's gonna happen, definitely. But I might have to take my shoe off. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get it back on. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back on. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to do I'm, I'm gonna have to do a naughty thing and sit down. <sighs> Here we go, we're out, out of the calf, back on the road, and it's M62 time. Really symbolic of knowing you're about 11 miles. Well, that's what I was told. I can't remember precisely, but someone said 11 miles to go. I'm off over the M62 on Penan Way! Cool, that it? New lease of life. How long is this gonna last, eh? Not very long. Not very long. Oh yeah, I'm walking. Blackstone Edge trig pillar ahead of us. We've got the wind turbines and the sun behind a cloud. It's 
fucking amazing. I'm swearing a lot today, I'm just tired. Um, feel great after coming out of that checkpoint. Feel great, feel great after coming out of that checkpoint. Um, it wouldn't usually be the done thing to take your shoes off. I took my shoes off and get my feet a bit of a rub and I don't know, just sort of like repositioned all my bones in my feet and the flesh was nice and soft. I pushed it back into place like Play-Doh. Felt like mint, uh, but it's really helped. It's really helped and uh, I feel good. I feel better and I feel like I can make it. I can make it before midnight now, hopefully. Now I've had this trig pillar already this year, so I'm not going to touch it. So we got two hours and 14k. So I've got to do 7k per hour. Um, I can do that, I think. Really got to pick it up. Feeling quite good. I've really lightened my backpack now. I've now got a fucking battery. It's charging my phone in the front. Uh, because I reckon I'm going to need to navigate in the dark back from uh, from from uh, Studio Pike. So I think I'm just going to have to pick it up now, pick it up now, and try and get like maybe 8k in an hour. So I've only got six to do, and the final one. Let's 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 give it a go. Let's give it a go. Manchester in the background, I think. Pretty cool. This is the. Uh, the awesome foursome on their last few miles of the spine sprint. Might be the last of the line, boys and girls. It's pretty cold, it's getting cold now. Okay, here's the deal. I've got one hour ten to do 10k, apparently. Um, I think, I mean, I might as well give it a go, right? I might as well give it a go. These three guys have been really good as a group, but we're, we're just kind of walking. Um, I kind of feel like if I go off on my own, I'll get lost or might get lost uh, with the, with the, uh, with the uh, navigation. And then the only thing that will happen is they'll catch up with me again, which has happened basically constantly all day. Uh, but every time I go off and leave the group or the, the guys, I'm going off with the hope that I don't see them again. Um, that's kind of the point. So I guess, I guess I should give it a go, right? I'm gonna give it a go. You can see it. Hopefully you can just about see it. The phallic emblem of the Calder Valley. Stoodley Pike. Some, just gone past some cows, they just scared the shit out of me. Got about 4k to go. I've got about 30 minutes to do it. Any other situation that would be easy, but not right now. Descent is brutal. I think we've got about 2k, 1k, something like that. Got about 10 minutes to spare. Uh, I'm really gonna have to shift it when I get into Hebden Bridge, so this might be the last bit. Oh. Finish, finish, finish. Yes. Yeah. Finish no more. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all over. I don't need any more weight on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not far to go now. Oh. Oh, friends, it is uphill. It's fine, steps. I've finished now. It's... Isn't it? This is where we, you, we lay you to rest on the town hall steps. I'm quite happy on the town hall steps. <laughs> <laughs> Might need these another day. I'm going to burn them. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. No. That was, um, I was happy with my finish. I was in second, I had, I had doubts on the way to Stoodley Pike because of the boulder field. But then as soon as we hit the smooth-ish path down to Hebden Bridge, 
I thought, here we go, we can, we can, if I really go for it, I can find, find a way. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Some real low points in the race, but every low point kind of meant I conserved energy for the end, I suppose. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for these chaps to come in. And uh, yeah, see you later.